Hi everyone! Today I'll be showing you how to create this really cool um, infinity stripe bracelet. This is um, a one side and here's the reverse side. So this is a reversible bracelet. You can see the infinity signs on the uh, opposite side here. This design um, is kind of an inspired bracelet by underscore one rainbow loom one underscores um, design. Um, don't forget to go follow her on Instagram. This design was uh, made um, by doing a couple modifications and improvements to her original design that she sent me, so we both kind of um, worked in partner on this. Um, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you already love this bracelet. And in this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to create this on the monster tail. However, I do have a tutorial for this on the rainbow loom down in the description box below. So anyways, now without further ado, let's get started. So today we'll need a monster tail, a hook, one c-clip and about 65 to 70 bands. Um, I do have a tutorial for this on the rainbow loom. Oops, sorry. Um, like I said at the beginning of the video, it's linked down in the description box below if you're interested in watching that. I'm using the rainbow loom web store's metal tipped hook um, and then their new mango bands. Everything you see here is from rainbowloom.com. I'll have the link down in the description box below if you'd like to purchase any of the items or any other items that are not or in this video today. So anyways, now without further ado, let's get started. So first we're going to start with our red dot on the left and you're going to start like how you start a triple single bracelet. So you're going to go vertically first, like that. And now we're going to make kind of a twisty triangle sort of shape. So you're going to grab the very left side and pull over to the right side. So you're going to kind of pull over. Then you're going to place it on this bottom right pin here, except you're going to twist it as you place it on. So you get this twisty triangle. It does not matter how you achieve this twisty triangle. This is just one of the many techniques you can use. As long as you have a triangle that's twisted all around here, then you're good. Now we're going to add two of the border bands. So you're going to go vertically first, like that. And then we're going to go diagonally, like that. Now we're going to hook all the bottom bands over. So red dot still on the left. Grab the very bottom layer, hook over, and release. Grab the very bottom layer, hook over, and release. So you should have something like that now. Turn your monster tail so that way the red dot goes to the right. You should have three layers on this pin here. You're going to grab only the one bottom layer. Hook over and release. Push your bands down and turn your monster tail so that way the red dot is on the left. And we are now going to start with making the infinity signs on here. So take your first color that you want to use for the infinity sign and place it on the uh, bottom left pin. You're going to twist it and for this whole entire process it does not matter which direction you twist it in. And then after that you're going to use the left side of the band here and tw uh, like twirl it around the pin so that way you've wrapped it around like that. After that you're going to twist the band again and then place it onto this right pin then you're going to twist the band again like that and place it onto the right pin again like that so so, so um this is basically what i have now and this part is really tricky to do so it's okay if you don't get it on your first try but basically this is what i have now so now we're going to add two or one of the border layers. So you're going to go vertically. And now we're going to start the hooking process. So you're going to grab the um, both of the layers for the infinity sign and carefully hook over and release. So you should have something like this now. Then you're going to grab the very bottom layer here, hook over and release. You can hook all of those at the same time, however, it puts um, quite a bit of tension on your hook. Then you're going to turn your monster tail so that way the red dot is on the right. And we're going to grab the very bottom layer here, hook over, and release. Turn your uh, monster tail so that way the red dot is on the left. And we're going to add our right layer now, so gra grab the right band and put it diagonally 
and then we are going to do the hooking process again. So I'm going to grab both of the infinity layers, hook over and release. Then I'm going to grab the very bottom layer here, hook over and release. I'm going to turn my monster tail now so that way the red dot is on the right. You should have three layers here. Grab only the very bottom one, hook over and release. So this is the side that the fishtail is going to come out of, and this is the side where the infinity sign is going to show. Sorry, that would be my phone. And now we're going to repeat the process again. So we always start with our infinity sign, so I'm going to use my rose jelly band now, and I'm going to place it on the left pin, twist it. Remember, it doesn't matter what direction you twist it during this entire time. Wrap it around the pin, and then twist it again. Place it on the right pin, twist it again, and then wrap it around the right pin, like that. So you should have something like this now, and we are going to add on our left vertical band, that is the border band, and start the hooking process. So you're going to grab both layers of the infinity sign hook over carefully and release and now we're going to grab the very bottom layer hook over and release now we are going to turn our monster tail so that way the red dot is on the right you should have three layers on this pin here grab only the very bottom one hook over and release turn your monster tail so that way the red dot is on the left and we're now going to add our diagonal band here and then hook over the infinity sign bands and then hook over the very bottom white layer and release turn your monster tail so that the red dot is on the right and then grab the very bottom layer here hook over and release so you can start to see a tiny bit of what the bracelet is gonna look like here and we're going to do the process again. So my red dot is on the left. Start with your infinity sign. Place it on the pin. Twist it. Wrap it around the pin again. Twist it again. Place it on the right pin. Twist it again. And then wrap it around the right pin. like that. And it's totally okay if you have trouble putting it on. I still have trouble putting this band on just because it's really hard to get your fingers to wrap around and place on these pins. So it's totally okay if it takes you a while to get that on. So we're going to add our vertical border band first. And now we're going to start the hooking process. So grab the two layers of your infinity sign and hook over. And then the bottom layer of um, the white band here and hook over. You're going to turn your monster tail so that way the red dot is on the right. You should have three layers here. Grab only the very bottom one, hook over, and release. Turn your monster tail so that way the red dot is on the right. And we are going to go ahead and add on the band that um, goes diagonally here. And now we're going to start the hooking process again. So grab both layers of the infinity sign hook over and release then grab the bottom layer here that's the single chain band hook over and release turn your monster tail so that way the um, red dot is on the right grab the bottom layer here hook over and release push down and turn your loom and we're gonna start over again so remember, we always start with our infinity sign bands, so I'm going to place my, um, uh, my rose jelly, I forgot the name for a second, <laughs> on the bottom left pin, and then twist it into a figure eight, or an infinity sign, and then wrap it around the pin again. Then I'm going to twist the band again, place it on the right side, and then twist the band once more. Oh, let go, it's okay, you can just grab it again. 
See, I have trouble putting this on too. Okay, so twist it again and then place it onto the pin like that. And now we are going to go ahead, start putting the uh, vertical border band on first. And now we're going to start the hooking process. So grab these um, infinity sign bands here, hook over carefully and release. And then the two, uh, the bottom layer of bands, hook over and release. Turn your monster tail around, grab the very bottom layer, hook over and release. Turn your monster tail again and we are going to add on our diagonal one here. So now we are going to grab our hook, hook the infinity sign bands over and release, then the single chain bands here and release. Turn your loom around, grab the very bottom layer, hook over and release. So if you give your bracelet a little tug, you can start to see the little um, bracelet forming. You can see the infinity signs there. And then the little kind of um, messy fishtail there. Has a little bit of a zigzag effect due to the um, infinity signs, but I think it looks really cool how it's a little bit messy. So it looks cute. But anyways, we are going to go ahead and do the process again. So you're going to start with your red dot on the left and start with your infinity sign band and then twist it like this after you've placed it on the pin. Wrap it around once more. Twist it again. Place it on the pin. Twist it again and wrap it around that pin again. So you should have something like this now and we are now going to add a vertical band like that and now we are going to grab the two layers of infinity sign bands, hook over and release and then grab this bottom layer here, hook over and release turn your monster tail so that way you've got the red dot on the right grab the very bottom layer here hook over and release. Push down, turn your loom around, and then we're going to add this uh, horizontal band here, or diagonal. Oh my goodness, I am out of it today. Okay, and so now you're going to grab your two infinity uh, sign layer bands, hook over and release. Grab the bottom layer here, hook over and release. Turn your monster tail around so that way the red dot is on the right. Grab the very bottom layer here, hook over and release. Every now and then you want to give your bracelet a tug so that way you know it's true length so that way you don't accidentally make it too long or too short or anything. But that's what mine looks like so far. I'm going to show you the process three more times since it is quite easy to pick up. So, remember we're going to always start with the infinity side bands. Try to do this on your own this time. Let's see if um, you can take the challenge. Even I have trouble doing this. There we go. And now we're going to add our uh, vertical band. And then do the hooking process of the infinity signs and then the bottom white layer. Then we're going to hook the fishtail here, grab the bottom layer and hook over, just like that. And then we're going to do the diagonal layer, like that. Grab the infinity sign bands, hook over, and then the bottom white layer, hook over. Then we're going to grab the bottom layer here and hook over like that. And then we have this now. So I'm going to show you two more times except these two times I'm not really going to talk that much or just basically going to have a silent tutorial for the rest of that. Um, but anyways, if you're still having a, um, more trouble than... Um, then I can help you with during the uh, silent tutorial part, then please go ahead and rewatch the previous instructions. If not, let's go ahead and continue.
So start off with your infinity sign band. Then the vertical band and hook those two over. Then the bottom layer over. Okay, for the last time I'll be showing you guys. Okay, so this is what I have now, and basically, here's the other side. So you're going to go ahead and continue the same exact process until you've got a full length of a bracelet. If you're still having trouble, then please rewatch the previous instructions. Um, and also, if you are wanting to make this on the rain balloon, don't forget to go check out that video as well. I don't know why I'm saying this at this point in the video, but it just came to mind. But anyways, I am going to go ahead and go off camera and finish up my bracelet, and then when I'm finished, I'll come back to show you how to take this off of your monster tail. So now we are going to take this off of our monster tail. So first, I'm starting with my red dot on the left, and I'm first going to grab this bottom white band and hook upwards and then this bottom right band and hook upwards. Now be very careful during this part just because it's easy to have it fall off your hook. So now I'm going to turn so that way my monster tail is on, uh, the dot is on the right. And I know four bands is a little much to put on a C-clip, but we're going to do it anyways. So take your C-clip and you're going to grab all four bands and hook them onto your C-clip. Like that and once you've made sure that they're all securely on you can pull it off like that then you're going to just hook on some bands that are on the end now there is kind of a cluster of bands so usually I hook through random bands here so it's not really an exact amount that I do um, or like exact bands that I hook through it's just kind of random just because um, with a triple or three pin single chains beginning of the bracelet it's a little hard to choose some but there's that and we are now finished so thank you guys so much for watching this tutorial don't forget that this bracelet is reversible so here is the reverse side of this one um, this is kind of where the infinity signs are shown most and then I'll show you the reverse side of this one I'm not going to turn all of them but here's the reverse side so yeah, don't forget this bracelet is my um, design inspired by underscore one rainbow loom one underscores um, design that she sent me. We kind of worked almost in partner, except I made modifications and stuff to it, and she's totally okay with me posting this tutorial. So big thanks to her. Don't forget to follow her on Instagram. I'll have her username down in the description box below. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if it helps you out, and also hit the subscribe button if you haven't already, and find me on all my social media sites down in the description box below, and I will see you guys in my next tutorial. Bye! And then after that, you are going to, I'm going to, let me turn my camera a second.